Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how to add a middleware in our web server in Rust. So let's get started. First of all, we'll move to our cargo terminal file where we need Axiom for our web server. And then we need Tokyo for our async programming. Actually, let's add the features as full. So version is latest and features as full. Then we'll build it. But if you are using any other ID, just use cargo add to add these or cargo build to build once you add manually. So once the dependencies are added, we'll move back to our main method. And here, first of all, we'll make Tokyo main and make this async. And let's add our app. So we'll just say let app router new. And let's say we have a route which is slash uh, a get request, a just dummy get request. So we'll add the handler and it just returns the status code. So here we just return status code as OK. So this is one of our endpoint. And we add the handler. After which, let's quickly go ahead and add the middleware. So first of all, we'll say layer and here we'll just say middleware let's import this actually let's use axiom middleware and then we'll just use prom function and let's get a middleware uh, handler so here also we'll just say async so we'll just use and middleware request and request and next next then our return type is response of axiom and now here for now let's add a request middleware basically the middleware which is before any processing uh, the first entry point for our request will be this middleware and then we go to the processing so here we'll just say Let's say match uh, request dot headers dot get authorization. So we are just checking a dummy uh, for if there is authorization header and we get some header, then just go ahead and do next dot run request. So it will basically go ahead and run our request. We await and then we convert into response because we want to return the response. And if it's a none, meaning we are not able to uh, get the authorization header then let's just return status code forbidden in and dot into response so basically this is just a basic middleware uh, i'm trying to teach you how to add middleware and then here we just did a basic uh, check which is if we find authorization he uh, header we can go ahead and uh, process the request if we don't find it just return forbidden so that's pretty much ready and one last thing we have to do here is call the middleware here and once we have that we will just add the listener tokyo nat and tcp listener bend let's give some address 3000 await unwrap and then we'll just do axiom serve listener app await unwrap so basically this is our code ready let's add a print here saying serving now so we know it's getting up so let's go ahead and run this for that we'll open our terminal and here we'll just do cargo run dash dash by okay as you can see we get serving now so let's use a testing tool and i'll be using insomnia as usual so let's go ahead and run it for the first time we'll just do http request so we'll say localhost and 3000 Okay, as you can see, it returns us forbidden because there is no authorization header as per our logic. So it returns 300, meaning our middleware is working very 
code and if we add the header let's go to headers and here we add and we add authorization header because we are not checking anything so I, I can fill anything and as you can see it returns 200 okay but if I remove it it returns me forbidden So that's it for this video guys. I hope you guys understand how can we add middleware. Similarly, you can add middleware after the processing as well, meaning you just add this part first and then wait for the response. And then when you have the response, you can just do anything that you want. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you guys understand how to add middleware and feel free to drop any questions. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.